This playthrough is rated E10+. Did you ever want more action in your front mission, viewers? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von right back here with another new game. And well, this one's technically not for my library. This is a front mission gun hazard or gun hazard or whatever you want to call it. Uh, a side-scrolling game made in 1996, developed by Umi Amelia Soft and published by Squaresoft for the Super Famicom. Obviously, I'm playing this on an emulation because there's no way to get this legit. Uh, because it is not originally in English. However, thanks to our famous translators, Aeon Genesis, thank you guys, they translate it. Uh, Aeon Genesis is a, they, they're a group of uh, translators that translate a lot of uh, Japanese RPGs to uh, for those who never got to play them. They translated them, so for those who could emulate and actually play them legitimately, well, not legitimately, I guess, because there was no way to get the actual physical copy of the game but this game is different from front mission you were expecting me to play like front mission 2 or maybe front mission 5 no no we're playing this spin-off game because yeah this game is a spin-off from front mission it's not in the main universe unfortunately it's a side-scrolling adventure game where you still play in Vonzer and you still have the same art style by uh, uh i think his name was yoshitaka amano he's the He's a famous concept artist for like Final Fantasy, Front Mission, and other such genres. He has a unique art. If you look at the box art, you can tell it's him. Uh, but let's start this game so we don't take forever jabbering on about. It. We play as a man named Albert, and we're here to save the president. So yeah, you know, hopefully he didn't make it make it all up. Let's start the game. All right, we can call ourselves Albert, and we're gonna stick to it as that. So blonde hair, blue eyed. Oh boy. Come in, Naw7. 
No, a seven? No, a seven here. Albert! It's Laros. How fast are you gonna get over here? So the coup's already underway. Yeah. The army's finally played its hand. Unbelievable. They think they can get what? No time for chit chat, Albert. The president's en route now. They're evacuating him until this blows over. We have our orders. Understood. On my way. All right. So this game is yeah side scrolling. You can like left and right. Uh, um, look. Uh, basically, left moves left, right moves right. Up as you look up. Uh, down presses down. Square. Uh, or I'm um, sorry. It's uh, in this version it's Y. Sorry, I'm not using an actual SNES controller. Y is attack. X doesn't do anything right now. Uh, B is jump, and A is uh, manual attack or whatever. Uh, this game uses, when it does cutscenes, it'll be separate, but there is in-game dialogue. I'll try to say it when it happens, but uh, sometimes it can go by kind of fast and you're kind of paying attention to the action, so you, I might miss it. But yeah, this takes place in the fictional 21st century, and uh, yeah, let's see. How much time do we have? It won't be long before they figure, figure out what we're up to. And you can move while the cutscenes are playing, so, or while they're talking. From what I hear, Ark Hellbrand's the ringleader. The Colonel? Unbelievable. You always say that word a lot, don't you? But anyway, hey dude. Albert, the president's here. All right, there he is. Hey dude, are we bad enough dudes to save the president? Well, be underway in a matter of minutes. Keep a close watch until then. Yes, sir. Please hurry on to the... Hey, Albert! Incoming! Leros! Oh! oh, we thought he'd be a long-time companion. Uh-oh. <laughs> There you are, Mr. Orwin. Colonel Hellbrand. The one and only. Now, if you'd be so kind as to come with me. Dot, dot, dot. Get him! What's with the uh, what's with the art style here? I know. Sir! There's a supply truck at, parked at the other end of the dock. Sir, Eddie more. I'll cover you! Uh, okay! Get out of my way! Colonel, stop this insanity! Stop! Stop! With the majority of NORAD army under my control, Oops. I think not! Surrender. Forget it. You're not getting away with this. And how do you propose to stop me? Just shoot yourself and save my men the trouble. I'll take you on alone if I have to. I made it to the trailer. Yeah, so during scenes like this, sometimes you'll have to, like, read the dialogue. Well, you don't have to read the dialogue, but you can read the dialogue while you're doing stuff. So sometimes it might be a bit confusing for some people who can't double, do double action or whatever. So, yeah, you can see in the background the president was moving around while I was attacking and uh, attacking uh, NORAD and everything like that. I, I think I could drive it. I didn't know presidents could drive. Let's move. Huh. Or arc or whatever. Do you think that piece of junk will save you? Ugh. Maybe. Actually, let's get onto it. There we go. So if we want to shoot up, we have to press up on our and on the on the controller or whatever uh, to aim our, our our character to do that. You can see his little arms appear while he's doing that, and you can uh, stand still and press the button to attack. As you can see, what I'm doing there, and hopefully uh, we can avoid his attacks. Okay, so. Uh oh. Ah, grah, you stubborn pinheads. Where are my reinforcements? Damn. I'll deal with you later. Count on it. Bye. Looks like we're in the clear. We can't rest yet. Ark won't let us go that easily. No worries, sir. I'll protect you. Leros. I won't let your death be in vain. I mean, he just got, got bombarded, dude. There's not much we could do about that. 
Anyway, mission complete. We we are bet well, we're a bad enough dude to save the president. Not multiple president or uh, not multiple people, unfortunately. So we killed five things and rescued Orwin and got twenty one hundred funds for our efforts. Moist. And there's our experience. Thirty thirty five. I don't think you can get any more than that. I think that's all you can get, so Eh, not quite level two yet, but we are there, so. By the way, what's your name? Albert, sir. I think we can relax a little now. I owe you my life, soldier. Good work, soldier! Just doing my duty, sir. So how are we gonna get you out of Bergen? We have to assume Ark's coup goes to the highest level of our government. Our best chance now would be big army base. I doubt the rebels have swayed them yet. Big's northeast of here. Pretty long haul. Not to mention a dangerous one. I'll need your help. Yes, sir. Okay, so we can go uh, a couple different locations if we want to just go straight to it. We can go to the Oron Mountains. We can also go to the shop here if we want to shop some stuff. I think right now, I don't think there's anything I can really buy. I think all the equipment we have is straight up, So, but we'll go do it anyway. So let's, let's head over to the uh, shop just to take a look. If we press the Y button multiple times, we can go into the shop. All right, what do we got? Whoops, press the wrong button. I have a bad habit of press, pressing the B button instead of the Y button, so... Alright, let's take a look at our uh, the options we have here. Howdy, arms are our business. Want more details on our wares? Slap the pointer on an item and press the X button. Alright, we can do that. Alright, let's take a look at this stuff, so... The Harbor G. Well, I can't afford it anyway, so... Honestly, this one's really not battle-worthy. If you're in the market for a fighting machine, I advise you to really keep looking. This unit can only support one special weapon. Veneer, dash, and shield units sold separately. A basic shield designed to protect your bo upper body, uh, unit's upper body. Uh, <clears throat> that's how we can protect ourselves, so we'll go over that in a second. So let's back up. Oops. Yeah, I can't uh, buy that, so. Oops. Wrong button. Alright, let's take a look at this. Oops. Allow your Bonzer to throw powerful punches. Range increases with advanced models. Yeah, we can't, uh, whoops. Can't really do anything with that, so. All right. Remember to save. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is a, even though this is a side-scrolling adventure game, it still has RPG elements, which means this game will not be beaten in a single run. So we will make a mini series out of this, so. Let's go ahead and save it. All right, let's take a, let's see. Do I need to change any settings? I could change the speed to make it a little bit faster, but I think fast is relatively good. Arm speed, this is how fast your arm moves when you're targeting it to target. So when you press up when you see my arms move, you can change the speed of it to be faster. Uh, normal seems pretty... If I if I make it too fast, it might be too crazy for me. I think I'll leave it on normal for now. We might change it later. You can also use the arms. Uh, see, arm mode, you can either change it to either up and down, or you can use the left and arm, left left and right trigger buttons to do that as well. You can also have a HP alarm on or off, depending on. Uh, I might leave it on just to keep myself aware that uh, that it's going on. Except it, it's a little annoying. It's similar to Legend of Zelda, where it just keeps beeping and beeping if you're about to die. And here's the controls for it. So we can, um, we can use the shoulder buttons to move our character. We can also use the shield. I didn't use it in the first section because there wasn't really any need to. But yeah, there's our button options right there, so. All right, let's go back up. So let's go to the outfit. So we, let's look at our character, Albert here. We can change his name if we want to. Level one, he's got the FN8G body. Uh, he's got 150 HP out of 250. We want to repair that because in between missions, um, we don't fully repair our HP. So we're going to spend some money to do that, so. Yeah, this is why you don't want to get hurt as much as you can, because you do have to spend money to repair yourself at each shop. Uh, we don't have a Vernier right now, and we can't afford one, so and we have a shield option there. We just go talk to the hand, take that shield. We have no dodge option either, so we'll do that whenever we get one later. But we got a primary weapon here, and we also got a special weapon as well. Now, this game's interesting. This game is a 
uh, a usage-based progression system. So what that means is if we decide to stick with one weapon and use it for a long period of time, it'll, sl it'll slowly get better, uh, more damage become more effective, but sometimes there will be some items that will just be better. So it's kind of up to you if you want to spend money to upgrade your equipment or keep using your standard weapon for as long as you can. Um, so that's an interesting idea for the game that it makes you want to use older equipment for longer to try and make it better. But we also have grenade options as well, but we'll go over that when we actually get to it. So let's go back to the map because we can't do anything right now. So so we could either go towards the mountains or we could head towards Orbo Orbos. Let's head to Orbos. All right, so we got a sortie here. So really not much I can do here. So let's just launch the sortie. So, yep, and we got no other. Uh, we got OR refueled. So let's go and deploy. <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Uh, yes, yes. The driving these long distances just wears me out. Uh, maybe we could make a short stop? Here, sir? Yes. They're bound to be tailing us by now. If we stop now, Ark will have us surrounded in no time. Oh. Don't worry. We'll just have to fight our way through. Oh. All right. Why does he get a dirt face during during the scene? Like you could that looks like a dirt face because we'll have eyelids closed and I don't know. It looks like a dirt face to me. We may meet some resistance ahead. Stay behind me. Uh, understood. All right, just stay in the car. I'll take care of this. You got cars here you can blow up, but if you blow them up, uh, if you're next by, you'll take damage. So be careful with that. So we've got some regular monsters here. All right, just come on, Mr. President. Haha, -ha, take that. Punch in the face. Oh, yeah, here's the shield option, by the way. All right. Oh, gotta remember to use my shield more often. Arcs. Arcs sent reinforcements. Oh, by the way, uh, can we make it through? Whoops. Ah, no. Oh, sorry. We'll just have to fight our way out. Sorry, I was I was paying attention to the fight and I wasn't. Okay, so at the top of the screen there, I'm gonna pause it really quick. Oh yeah, this is our mini map, by the way. Um, at the top of the screen, you can tell our that's our HP gauge, that little bar there next to the HP zero in the line. The lower that goes down, the more I'm about to die. The next to is the experience bar, our level, how many enemies, uh, and then the unit we're in, and the bullets. We can if we use our bullets too much. They'll wear, run out, but they do refill. It's just they refill slowly. So you don't want to just spam the attack button. You want to uh, keep it kind of... Uh, you want to just kind of pace it when it comes to uh, using that weapon, by the way. Oh, nah, I got hit again. Gotta get that block ready, dude. Or that shield ready, man. Come on out, dudes. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to destroy cars so I don't take damage from that. Come on out. Where are you guys? I could go faster. I'm just afraid of it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, enemies will explode, and so if you are too close to them, you'll uh, you'll uh, take damage. So you have to be careful. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, doing melee is actually not the not the smartest strategy in this game, just because of the whole, um, you know blowing up and taking damage. I think there's anything actually over here to, to get. No, I guess not. Huh. Alright, well that was pointless. Oop. Yeah, that would have hurt me quite a bit if I had stand next to that car. I'm not even sure how the truck was following me while I was jumping around all nimbly pimbly over here. Oh yeah, if you want to, uh, uh oh. Yeah, if you want to drop down, if you push just down and, uh, uh <clears throat> down and B, you'll uh, drop below different levels, so. Nope, don't want to stand next to you, dude. You blow up. And when you blow up, people die! Uh-oh. Wait, that's that one guy again. Ark. 
Now give it up, Sergeant. You can't win. You think our people will stand for this? <laughs> Have you seen the news lately, Sergeant? The whole nation's begging for the blade of the blood of the traitor responsible for the president's kidnapping. What? Just think, once I capture you, I'll be a national hero. Now make this easy on yourself. Hand him over! Forget it. I don't think so, Ark. Just gotta be careful. He can't do a decent amount of damage to us. Oh, I was hoping. Oh, well. This has gone far enough, sir. Orwin, what are you doing? Your treachery ends here. What the? What are you doing, sir? No! Ugh! Sir! I, I've been taking too much damage. Oh, sorry. I, what, you fool! You ruined my drive system is ruined! Unbelievable! You really value your life so little! I, of course I value my life, but I'll be damned if I'm leaving this country in your hands. Grr! How much longer do you plan to fight the inevitable? Run, run, run if you will, but remember this, you will be mine! Stop! You got away. Thank you, sir. But the risks... Don't ask me to sit idle with my people at stake, Albert. Sir. We should go now. Ark may have more troops on the way. Roger. Yep, a lot of these missions are pretty short. Like, you can just kind of just run through them all nimbly pimply, so. But yeah, if you want to try and grind for money, you could kill, like, a lot of dudes. The only problem is you, you'll, you know, run low on HP by doing that, so. That's a way to try and get some experience. Ah, oh, I didn't kill enough dudes. No. Should have killed a few more before uh, that divining arc. Painting you as a common criminal just to win the public support. The goal of it. Don't worry. Once we get to B, one telecast will set everything right straight. You're right. Let's hurry onwards. I wouldn't recommend pressing on, sir, if they know we're coming. What then? We'll take a less conspicuous route. Probably a better idea. Let's head back. So yeah, we have to go back the other way anyway because of what happened, so let's go back to the shop. Let's go and heal. And her all right. Oh wait, wrong button. Sorry. Wrong screen. All right, let's quit the monster so we can heal ourselves. Yeah, see how my HP is a little bit different now? It's not no longer just 250, now it's 253. It's because I'm, I've been using this FN body a bit more, so it's getting a little bit better by con constantly using it. So I'll show you the rest of the stats too. Yeah, see my primary, I haven't really been using my special ability, which is, you know, the punch. But, uh, yeah, the gun's also gotten better as well. So, yeah, I just like that idea that, uh, you can, uh, improve the, improve the, just mech by using it over and over again. But it looks like Albert's in for a bit of a, bit of a dangerous situation. With him and the president, uh, in tow, and the president being a little bit reckless due to, due to, you know, wanting to save his people, we'll be able to keep him in tow? Will the mountains be able to protect us from the Ar Ark and his people? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.